All right, so we're trying to get the stump out. It's being a real pain, so we got the jack here. Oh no, don't tell me it's not getting enough fluid. No, it might not be. Gotta do a full. There it goes. It's barely getting any. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything. Oh, great. It's moving though. Dang it. Uh, this seems impossible. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, I see gaffage. This thing has been our nemesis. Only a few more big, huge chunks to go. What do we got down there? Oh, yeah, look at that. Ah, there it went. Gave free on the last. Well, that was a nice sound hearing it crack loose, huh? Yeah, I have to start working on this one next. Oh my, it's even more humongous. Bucks it up into pieces, I guess. And then we can start getting this all flattened out. There's so much dirt right here that we need to, all this dirt that we dumped right here. We can push it and level it out. Well, it's no wonder this thing didn't go anywhere. It's got to weigh a thousand pounds. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. It's a pretty solid cob of wood. It's, water, it's got though. some moisture in it though, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't let it slip out. Stuff that big... Uh, block under there? Stuff that block under there. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Kick it now. Oh, those are just like roots and stuff, huh? Just go back and just get it back in, in there now. It's done for, dude. It's done. It's twisted Did out. Did you feel that? There's a root right there that was holding it in. Yeah. Or part of it. Where's that? Right there. All I can say is those people that cleared for us back in the day and yeah, tough old birds. Yeah. I guess they probably just lit it on fire though. Just one of many fun stumps to tear out of here. Ah. Cracking oh, back there, there it goes. goes. Yeah, watch out guys. Maybe just get some come alongs run over here too and just get some tension on it. Yep. Go in the middle, go in the middle. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, that's good for now. Yep. Be easy to ruffle around now. Alright guys, well. I just finished cutting through that root and another one bites the dust. Tristan's over here excavating here, so we'll start attacking this one soon. Got this other root out of here now. Well, getting it out of here. I see you notched that to get the wedge in there, huh? Yeah, we put a little pocket in there to nice. get the jack in there and Whittling away at this stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna relocate these raised beds and then we can just have mm. rows right here. Almost seems like you could find some fossils under there in that yeah. rich dirt. Yeah, this dirt's nice down in there from the decaying bark and whatnot. All right. So that's where we are. We'll bring you back in a while. We got the chain around it. Jacked it up. Oh, we're gonna pull the truck. <laughs> no problemo. Good. Yeah. 
short work of that stump. So we chopped through these big roots. We dug out the rest of the dirt surrounding the stump. Went ahead and chopped the big roots here. We've got this one connected to come along here. I'm gonna try and rip it out of the way because we plan on jacking up this side over here and rolling it out that way. So don't want anything to be in the way impeding our our progress here. Go? I think it's going. I hear crunching and creaking. <laughs> yeah. It's a deep running root. Done for now. Yeah. You could probably hook it over that tree and rip it back the other way. Finally starting to loosen this old rotten tooth hold on the earth. Oh wow, that I felt that opened up a lot. Holy moly, what a beast this thing's been. Did I just hear it crackle? Yep. Let me... <laughs> oh man, she's gonna go. It's giving up, it's giving up its hold. <laughs> I love that deep crack sound. Oh man, I was holding that in. There was nothing under there, it was just wedging itself, I think, Matt. Yeah. But that worked, lifting up that other and prying it. It's done for. Wow. Hole's getting pretty big down here. Matt and Tristan have been busy digging away all morning, busting out these roots. Yeah, we yanked out this one and that other one that was right there. Just working on this one over here, a little stub right here to pull out. Overall, this stump is uh, free and clear. All the major roots have been cut, maybe just a few little tendrils underneath. So uh, yeah, it's just about ready to get pulled over. Hopefully we can throw the come along on the top, drag it that way, pump up on the jack and tip her over, start rolling it into the woods. <laughs> Just dug out the stump. We're about to throw the come along on it and start jacking it up. And hopefully kind of twist it out of place, get something under it. Start moving it a bit before we move that guy out. So we'll go ahead and crank on it with the jack there. Now we've already cranked up on it a little bit, so we know it moves, but now the goal after we've, now that we've unburied it some is to get something under it and hopefully kind of dislodge it. There you go. Oh, look oh at yeah. Fishing. Look at that. Exposing fruit. Deep root. Oh, it's destroying the poor thing. Resist, resist the urge to reach in there. See? The safe way. Stroop. Well, do we just need to chop this in two or what? All right, guys, so we jacked up the log. I guess we're just gonna figure out what to do here. We gotta roll it that way, so I guess we'll, yeah figure out some pulley system to try and get it out of here. If it's too heavy, then we'll uh, just have to chop it up into a couple pieces. All right, we're gonna saw this thing in half. Got a nice new blade on the saw. Rip it. Well, that was uh, like butter, new blade on the saw, so 
didn't take long. We'll uh, go ahead and drag this over. The other one's coming with it. We can just get it up on top of this kind of then it'll be pretty easy to just drag over the top of this other stuff probably. Probably. Maybe. I think so. Up and out, huh? That was the way to do it too, cut it in half, huh? Yep. Way more manageable. Whoa. Oh. Okay guys, so that's the first piece out of the way. Yep. These guys are just gonna go right here, I think, and we'll plop them down and make some good rabbit habitat, rabbitat. So yeah, things are coming right along. Let's get this one out of here. We're in good shape. And start getting this whole area cleaned up. So we're gonna, gonna start moving our beds, huh? Yeah, we're gonna chop this big stump up which is too large to try and yank out with a single come along and a jack. So I'm gonna whack it in half, maybe a couple of chunks or something. Figure out as we go. The other one's gone though, finally. It's sitting over there in a, a quite a few pieces now. So one down, one to go. Got the brush pile going over here. All those salmon berry bushes and some other spruce limbs that we had kick, kicking around for a while. Wow, so it got pulled from bedrock, or is it? It grows into bedrock, the roots do. Mm -hmm. They find cracks in the bedrock and they drive in and they split it. And as water gets in there, it freezes and splits the fractures of bedrock and they work themselves in deeper. Hmm. Yeah, those would not be very nice to the saw, would they? Nope. Nope, not at all. Do we want to just put the jack under the side and flip it? If so, maybe I should cut the other, cut that part like in, the, in half or quarters or something. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's still a big chunk over there, so. All right, where dad's standing right there is Basically where the garden came to before, maybe a few feet to the right. So as you can see, we've expanded it a good 15 or so feet. Ready? Just give her a good shove, yeah? Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty heavy. Oh, I can't believe the stump is gone. Yeah. Oh, no. There's more sticks over there. Let me handle it. So we can't. 
can keep the lamp up right here. Yeah. Finally got the two stumps out. They were real heavy. <laughs> but we quite an endeavor. Yeah. But we chopped them up and drug them out piece by piece. They're there sitting over there. Got the rest of this stuff removed over here. Yeah. Got it all. Ready just to start filling this hole back in and leveling things out, I guess. Yeah. Progress update here. Pulled that tree out. Put these uh, two boards in here. We're just trying to grade it out a little bit. Help with this slope we have going on here. This will hold it for now. We'll put a couple of kickers off this to keep it from caving in or blowing out, I guess. Yep, so we got our holes here. I just kind of dug out some of the extra soil that was down under the trees, sorted the rocks out. Pick root. And today, um, yeah, we're gonna keep doing that, move the rest of this gravel out of here and dismantle our uh, raised beds here and move them to a different location. And then we'll take all the dirt out of them, find a place for it over in the, on the flat area here. And so yeah, that's where we're at. As you can see, we've started backfilling this barrier wall with, uh, with our gravel from over there. But it's coming along good. Uh, so now we've got this hole going on over here. We're just digging out uh, around the bed here. Yeah, we'll move a couple of these to where Matt's standing for a raised bed because it's just all big rock fill underneath here. We're not gonna not gonna dig in there and remove it all. So we'll yep. put a raised bed in here. We'll use some of this rock over here to make a nice little retaining wall. Yep. This is down far enough right here that we can bring topsoil back in here and kind of level this whole area out the rest of it mm -hmm. and that'll just be where we till and put in rows so it just works us back a little bit more enough to be able to put in some rock hold this dirt from falling back down and then we can move at least one of these and get it over here and start backfilling it yeah all right guys so dad came up with a good plan we're just gonna go off that big rock right there as the corner of this uh, sort of raised area here. Build a rock wall over to it and over that way. And then we'll just have plenty of space to put a couple of beds up here and just make it nice and clean, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be a good spot to relocate at least one of these. Yeah. And then we'll just use the rest of this pile to just put in a little wall. It doesn't need to be very tall, really. Um, yeah. It's basically right up to this level. And then we'll just knock all this stuff, pull it down to fill it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do the same thing up here, just put a rock wall, probably just parallel off this uh, stump. Yeah, so that's where we're at. We'll go ahead and- Leveling this off down there, fill that a little bit more down there, and I think we'll be good to go to start smoothing all this topsoil down and uh, get some fertilizer worked into it and ready to plant. Yeah.
Okay guys, so we have finished filling in our rock wall over here. We have a little bit of excavation left to do over here, but not too much. But we're uh, gonna go ahead and move this uh, raised bed frame over to where I'm standing. A little short here. Bring it away. Perfect. So we got our raised planter all prepared. We took the chainsaw and ripped this lower board in half so it wasn't quite so deep. <clears throat> Got it kind of positioned in there, leveled off fairly well. A little board in between to keep the sides from blowing out. So, I guess we're all ready to start filling this back up with soil. Start with this one right here, That's where it came from. So, we'll transfer that back over into here and then we'll see where we end up. I don't think it'll quite fill it, but it'll be pretty close. Yeah, let's see. We got all the all the topsoil uh, transferred into our other bed now, and I'm just gonna get this gravel cleaned up right here. Shovel it in the wheelbarrow, take it down there, dump it along that spot where we're filling it. Now I'll get this area cleaned up, and then I think we're ready to start backfilling all of this stuff in, and starting to get this tilled. We'll get some fertilizer on it, uh, mix in some, some sawdust to help break up and loosen up the soil, aerate it. So yeah, things are coming along good. So we'll just continue on. Looking forward to getting this area cleaned up finally. All right guys, so we've got the other planter there moved. Filled out well, dad cut this down this morning. Reduced it by 25%, I guess. So now there's not so much uh, wasted dirt in the bottom of the planter. Looks good. And it turns out we had a lot of gravel under there. So it ended up being the perfect amount to finish off our uh, layer down there by the fill area there. So now we're just getting ready to begin filling in this great big hole left by those stumps. Dad's Finally. gonna fire up the tiller here, start ripping the ground that we just uncovered there, and uh, yeah, start filling her in, huh, Dad? Fill it in. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> 